It's always a good time when you break your guitar on the first song, so we're here to mess a few things up. How you guys feeling out there? All right, everybody got to get their hangover beer in from yesterday. Here's a song called Wild Roses. With that sun going on your back The rain and thunder hit so loud Oh, fuck, nearly had a heart attack So down the path to the fire Let's make sure ain't no one's around Kiss you all over I wanna make sure it can be found Forget you now The building the new church On the side of the old church We're gonna have to say goodbye 
Y'all doing all right? All right. All right. We're waking up a little bit. Trouble the Reds, come out. <laughs> all right, well, here's a love song, or at least it sounds like a love song. It's a breakup song, isn't it? It was a it's a breakup song, song but it's for friends, so. This is about falling out and coming back together. Ask Skyler, uh, do I'm in love with you first. Or not, because Colton's dictating from the drums. It's Colton's following the set list. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Is he following the set list? That's unlike us, boys. sunshine on my guitar. Hang on. That's about as good as it's ever going to get. It was back in the summer of 2007. Riding down the road from a 7-Eleven. We had a freedom then that we don't have now. We changed up our hearts. We locked each other out. You were punched in the face on my birthday for swinging at the bouncer. Then the cops came. Camp picked us up, we made a clean getaway. Wow, we should have grown an attitude. And I know the evil base of that, but I don't want it. Unless you want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the neighbors go, you didn't man. We can fight on them all if we're on the bill, yeah. Small cigarettes, we watch a thunderstorm that night. We fell in love with another band's girls. We stole them both and we rocked their worlds. I got married, but you got left behind. Wow, I'm sure grown in attitude. I know that we were best to like a new, but I don't Thank you. 
when I needed you most Less like a friend, more like a ghost Cause I could follow you from shows Sugar and attitude I know that we were raised to back and root But I don't want it I'm back Unless you want me back Yeah, want me Want me back Want me back yeah. Want me back Want me She said she never let me down Can't believe in what she says Said she'd stay with me forever Or at least until I'm dead And I'm sure she's got a gun That she ain't told me about And when she said forever she means my time is running now If she's worth fighting with That she's worth fighting for And I know that she said She don't love me no more But I brought my guitar And I'm at her front door Angelina Whoa, Angelina Whoa, Angelina She thinks that I'm a fuck I wanted to be a man She thinks I'm fucking crazy For putting that ring on her hand What? And I know she's got a guy That she ain't told me about And when she said forever She means she'll blow my brain tight out if she's worth fighting with, then she's worth fighting for And I know that she said she don't love me no more And I brought my guitar and I'm at her front door Thanks, everybody. Enjoying the day, are we? Yeah, some of you anyway. Who doesn't love a song about summertime?
some good shit. Whoever said that, I'm not sure. Drummers always gotta show up and break something when they're borrowing a drum kit. Hey, we hit things for a living, man. <laughs> gonna work
in my microphone stand, so give me a second. <laughs> you got time? Someday this could 
we find the beer later? Is that the place? I'm gonna need one, baby. Cheers to you guys running the beer tent over there. <laughs> Keeping <laughs> everybody hydrated. You're doing God's work. All right. Here's a song called Problem Solver. I don't recommend it to anybody. <laughs>
so well Take me back there even just a moment She wore black coal and nothing else Everybody, you guys are wonderful. <laughs> you guys are, uh, that's actually the debut of that song. You're the first people to hear that outside of our rehearsal space. I mean, technically, so we thank you, Chris. Yesterday, Fest. so.
just wasted time trying. I've been having dreams about cocaine. Thank you. Only somewhat inappropriate, I guess. <laughs> Every now and then, when you're up here, you break a guitar string. Oh, hey, beautiful. Well, you guys too, but yeah, him, the bald guy, yeah.
dream, follow yourself I would keep you safe forever Thanks, everyone. Little guitar switching going on. Now it's temperamental. You guys are all awesome sitting out there in the sun just to hear little old us. That I tried to love Nobody deserves to be loved like you The writing on your hand and foot Love is a language to be understood But conversations they take to You're far away, love far away. So far away, you know what I'm saying It's not about holding you, and it's not about holding on. If it's not about getting through, but how the hell was I so wrong? If it's not about getting on, and it's not about giving in, if we can't admit that we're both wrong, how are we supposed to win love? Far away, in love. So far away in the same room.
again tonight Just to be sure you're tucked in tight I hope his arms don't feel like mine Wrapped around you I hope it never feels right And I wish that I could see oh, 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 oh. Wearing nothing but a smile That's right Charity dancing in my bedroom oh, 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 oh. Let me in to dance a while Who cares if my hair been Now that you're in love with him Say you're in a better place I know you're lying I know that face I don't wish that I could see Oh, oh, oh. Well, we're nothing but a smile That's my own Charity dancing in my bedroom oh, oh, oh. Let me in to dance a while Miss your lips, those hips Your painted fingertips The way you always enter now Hey! 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 I miss your style and flair And your bright pink underwear Throw it off of my teeth and it's on you So I And I wish that I could see Nothing but a smile That's my own Shouty dancing in my bedroom oh, 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 Let me in to dance a while You guys are too good, too good for us up here. Everybody still having a good time? We haven't scared anybody away yet? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Heck yeah. What is your name? Joe? Everybody give it up for Joe. He's been jumping around in the sun. I'm assuming since even before we got up here. So somebody bring him a bottle of water or something. He's probably dehydrated. Everybody's in tune. As good as I'm gonna get, I think. You want me, want me in a bed 
Mach mich tot um Ein Kuh auf den Wheel She says she needs me And then we're going home You know I shouldn't But I know that I go Yeah, cause you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know She's a dangerous girl She's a dangerous girl She's a dangerous girl And she's mine That song's quite obviously called Dangerous Girl. That's on our second record. It comes out October 1st. It's down in Los Angeles getting mastered right now. When it comes out, you guys can find that on iTunes and try to drive to work with, uh, you know, listen to it without crashing into anything, please, for the love of all things good and whole. Probably find somewhere to just take it for free if you didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> that's, not a good, that's not a good move. That's not going to make you famous. She's catching up on me Out of my heels since I was 23 Her love is a black hole of confusion Turn me on to something and change my illusion My baby's gone and I don't care Don't cheap out, get the good stuff We're gonna trip like more than drop coma in my bathtub Drop coma in my bathtub Angel of death, she's got double D's I got her so high, she's going down on me Her love is a black hole of confusion Turn me on to something and change this illusion My baby's gone and I don't care Bad red hair with a death glare Don't freak out, I got the good chucks We're gonna trip like more some drug coma in my bathtub Drug coma in my bathtub Drug 
You guys, is, uh, is it Chase the Bear up next? Yes. Chase the Bear is up next. You guys got to stick around. They're awesome, baby. You should probably run away from bears, though. I don't want to go home. Oh, 
promise where my heart is I don't wanna go home If home is where my heart is 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 I've been getting fucked It's a little heartbreak song with some subject matter in it. I hope all the kids are over at the Bouncy Castles. <laughs> I got two of myself, so I don't know what we're thinking playing this rock and roll. This is our new single. It's out. It's on YouTube and Spotify and iTunes and all that fun stuff. And I do believe you can call into Peace FM and you can request this song. This song's called Rock and Roller. Shout break my heart We're blue high Wrap me up And your love Snap my spine With your thighs You're the girl That I claim Tie me down I believe you Just without All your kiss I tremble and Shake Rock and roll You're the only one Rock and roll I'm in love with you, bust me to tell the truth Would you stand by my side, baby, take the abuse Can we go and it can be my girl I'm your man and I don't give a damn If she don't understand Rock and roll, love You're the only one Rock and roll, You tell me you're confused yeah. You know I feel it too I'm not the only one for me yeah. I swear you're out So much for having us out today, Chris Fest. You guys have been a lot of fun. We're Newcastle Kings. It's pretty easy to find the website, newcastlekings.com. The whole first record is a free download. If you guys would like it on a disc, you can get it at the merch tent. And if you like the new designs on our t-shirt, that was this guy right back here on the drums. Rock and roller, rock and roller, rock and roller, rock and roller. Wake up, I will shine, break my heart, we'll be alive and you're in your love and my smile. With your thighs, you're the girl that I crave time and down. I'm saved just a cloud of your kiss. I tremble and shake. Rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll, rock and roll. Thank 
you very much, Tumblr Ridge. Hey, it's Linda Morgan at Grizz Fest 2018, and I'm here with Grand Prairie Zone Newcastle Kings. How's it going? Good. Very good. Good. Very We're good. feeling a little worn out. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of heat, but amazing event. Yeah, we feel good. Is this your first time playing in Tumbler Ridge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It was awesome to be here. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful place to play. I got distracted staring at the mountains. And Phil, you just joined the band a month ago. Was this your first gig with them? I've, I've filled in for them before, just on the off, uh, the off gig, but this is our first official performance as a four-piece in how long? Oh, man. Three, Three years, years yeah. yeah. Uh, Phil did Peace Fest with us last year, because Niall was at a buddy's wedding. Uh, we really liked that experience. He really fit in. We, we got along with him right away. We had a couple of rehearsals. Uh, we announced on social media that he had been added to the band without notifying him first, because <laughs> that's the Newcastle Kings way. Uh, yeah, and uh, from there we basically said, hey man, you got three weeks to get ready and we're going to put you on a festival stage again. So buckle up, here we go. All right. <laughs> now Skylar, I, I got to ask, why the bare feet on stage? Oh, oh man. Uh, that actually started just because I got big ugly toes and I can use my guitar pedals with them. I can adjust things during practice. Uh, but then it became so comfortable to be on stage that way that I felt like I was just rehearsing and really relaxed. I thought, well, I better start wearing shoes because I always get pieces of stage and beer bottles and all kinds of stuff stuck in the bottom of my feet. Tried it out a few times. I would overheat and get kind of a weird, anxious feeling. And it was like, no, we're going back to bare feet. So we've done festivals all summer. And so far, I've been pretty safe. We did Rock Downtown, and I burnt the bottom of my feet on a black stage. <laughs> so that was a fun week. Uh, but this stage has been great. It's shaded, and I feel fine. And I haven't stubbed my toe on anything yet. So I think we're OK. <laughs> but that's always good, man. So you've got a new album, uh, Misery Music, coming out in October. What can you tell us about that? It's a little brash in, in, in comparison to how we started our careers. Um, but it, it's, it's, really, it's really raw and, and honest, you know? There's, there's really not a lot of beating around the bush in it. And we, uh, we tracked and wrote it as a, as a three-piece. Um, so it, it's a little bit different than, than everything else that we have. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, no worries. Mm. All right, I'm. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I would love one. No, let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, I'm Linda Morgan for Chet TV. Hmm. I'm Linda Morgan at Chris Fest 2018 for Chet TV. Thanks. In Canada's Banff National Park, census takers on horseback. They're counting noses in the annual survey of animals in this wildlife sanctuary. And they discover old citizens and new ones, like this bighorn sheep and her lamb. The park warden who's making the census tempts the mother sheep to come closer for a snack. But the lamb isn't too sure about the stranger. 
They're incredibly nimble and sure-footed, these mountain sheep, using footholds little more than an inch wide. They can scamper up steep rock faces 50 feet high. Bears are numerous in the park, and they too are checked by the survey. The purpose of the census is to make sure the balance of nature is being maintained. If one species is multiplying too quickly for the available food, some may have to be killed to lessen the possibility of disease and overgrazing. Other animals may need special protection to prevent their dying out. Stand up and be counted. This young coyote pup doesn't seem to want to cooperate. Many of the animals aren't too easy to find unless you know where to look. Here are deer twins, sleeping peacefully and oblivious of the inquisitive man from the government. But their mother is close by and she keeps a watchful eye open. Pausing now and then, the warden jots down his findings. Most of the animals in the park, like these buffalo, generally stick to the same areas. And so it's possible to make accurate estimates of their population. Sometimes on his rounds, the census man does a good turn. Here's a baby elk wandering around without its mother. It must be an orphan, so it needs special attention, even though it may resist at first. But soon its troubles will be over. The warden knows the family status of most of the animals in his care. He remembers seeing a mother elk who had lost her calf. Maybe she will accept this one as a replacement. There, in a clearing, is the mother elk. The shy, orphaned calf is introduced to her, and they hit it off perfectly. And so they simply adopt each other. Besides using horse and truck, the warden has a boat to help him get around the huge park. Here, he's on the lookout for moose, and it doesn't take him long to find some. They're excellent swimmers, and they eat underwater vegetation as well as twigs and shrubs. Observations ashore and afloat show the warden that many of the cow moose have calved since he was last around. And he notes it all down as part of the annual census at Banff National Park. Energetic and continuous conservation measures make sure that there will always be plenty of animals in this picturesque wildlife sanctuary. A truckload of something very special arrives at Hastings Elementary School, Vancouver. And there's no shortage of helpers when it comes to the unloading. They've been waiting for this for days now, thought it would never come. But it's here at last a whole collection of animal visitors from Stanley Park, one of Canada's most famous zoos. And the zoo's curator, Alan Best, has come along to explain these strange creatures, like the springy little wallaby from Australia. What a wonderful way to have a natural history lesson. Here's a toucan with its great big bill, a weapon and a scoop for food. And here's a penguin, a bird in evening dress. At first the children were wary of the animals, but now they can't get close enough to examine and pet them. Even the weird looking giant anteater doesn't frighten them. He's a highly specialized fellow, this, with a long tongue perfectly adapted to eating ants. The zoo can't supply the half million ants he needs every day, so they've taught him to enjoy dog food and milk. And the youngsters are fascinated as Mr. Best shows them how sharp nature has made the anteater's claws so he can rip open ant hills. You'd think snakes would horrify the children. But Mr. Best explains that these two baby rock pythons, five and eight feet long, aren't a bit poisonous. 
and it isn't long before a brave girl volunteers to wear one as a necklace. Nothing to it, really. Now everybody wants a wriggly handful of python to play with. The children find it not only great fun, but also a memorable lesson, for there's nothing like first-hand contact to give a better understanding of the strange beings that inhabit the Earth. So it's with reluctance that they go back to their ordinary classes. But maybe there'll be another animal day before too long. About half a million dogs live in Greater Montreal, and at least that many cats. Every few minutes, somewhere in the city, someone's pet tries to cross a busy street, and sometimes the attempt to brave the traffic ends in disaster. There's no need to stand around and watch helplessly when a quick telephone call to the SPCA will bring one of their mobile patrol vans to the rescue. This time, he's not hurt too badly, but he needs emergency attention, and the animal ambulance won't lose any time taking him to headquarters where he can get it. The mobile units cover every part of Canada's largest city. Almost every day, some cat, out of curiosity or chased by a dog, finds itself up a tree and unable to get down. Another emergency, but it's just routine for the Canadian Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Besides dealing with accidents, the Society operates a clinic, providing free treatment for the pets of those who can't afford to pay. And the variety of patients is endless. There's nothing sadder than a sick dog. Last week he was frisky and full of life. Now he's listless and drowsy, off his feed. Animals suffer from almost as many diseases as humans, but fortunately many can be cured and some can be prevented. The dog's most deadly enemy is distemper. Once caught, it's hard to cure, but it can be prevented by vaccination. The SPCA urges that all city dogs be vaccinated early. This one wasn't, and examination quickly confirms the vet's suspicions. There's nothing the vet can do but tell the family they are about to lose a faithful friend. There are happier scenes at the SPCA, especially when a boy comes in to adopt a new dog. Thousands of stray or unwanted dogs, cats, and other pets end up at the society's shelter every year. Those that aren't claimed by their owners may be bought for just $5. For boy and dog alike, a very satisfactory arrangement. The only problem is making a choice. Yes, now I'm sure. That's the one I want. Not the big one, the little fellow. He's just got to be mine. What should I call him? Does he have a name already? Maybe Spot or Butch. That's it, Butch. But just a minute. Suppose they aren't bringing me the right one. I want Butch, the little brown one. Yes, that's the one. And so, boy meets dog, and Butch gets a new master who has promised to look after him well, following the advice of the SPCA. He'll brush and comb him regularly and provide a comfortable bed, plenty to eat and drink, and lots of healthy exercise. Life can be hard for a dog in the city, but not if he has a good master. So Butch and his master begin a new friendship thanks to the SPCA, which for more than a century has been devoted to making life better for every kind of animal.